Dwarf's bones. A handsome man in Falkry. Oh, there once was a hero named... Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet rose. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. There's one out on the road. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Good. There's some gold in it for you if you succeed. Here's the meat. Check the road just outside of town. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Guard duty. You need something? Come to gawk at the monster. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just... lost control. I tried to tell them, but... None of them believe me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. This is the ring of Hersey. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to. But I'll never know. Hersing didn't care for my taking it and threw a curse on it. I put it on. And the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times. Like, with the little girl. I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. It's my secret, and my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. Do you not know the Daedric Lord of the Hunt? He revels in the chase and also gave the gift of lycanthropy to mortals. A powerful force not to be crossed, as I learned too late. I had just come into Falkreath. They needed some help work in the mill, and I thought that would be something safe, something I could do. When I saw the little girl, I was just... I could feel it coming on. I could taste her. I needed to hunt, but this pitiful, limited body wasn't meant for hunting. Slow, no claws, weak, mashing teeth for shoeing cud. I held in my rage as long as I could, but it boiled inside of me. She looked so fragile, helpless prey, and then I... I feel terrible about what happened, about what I did. It would probably be best for everyone if I just went away. I've been looking for a way to appease Hersing. There is a certain beast in these lands, large, majestic. It's said that Hersing will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness, give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free.
Mm-hmm. Citizen, I'm warning you. Your presence is in. If Bearing you know any true business, sons of be God, God or the I'm Imperial the business. Be on your way. Interfering with Imperial business. Be gone.
Mortal fool! No one! And from the dead? Over here!
You are exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. And you're surprised by me? Yeah, I just talked and I'm continuing to do so. You see, my name is Bobbis, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. My master and I had a, a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicked me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shane. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. And just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? There are dragons about, Traveler. Be warned. Then you've seen them too. We lost our home, our livestock. We barely have enough gold to get by. Oh, thank you, Traveler. Be safe, and don't forget to keep an eye on the sky. Thank you for your kindness.
You look a bit... good to see you. Finally someone useful is around. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. On your way, then. Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir. Sidgir can some. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengir first, and the Empire second. Yeah. Anyway, it's done. Time to move on. Much obliged. Here. It's not much, but take it anyway. Need something? I understand. Fight or die well.
First Roda!
Are you feeling sick? Very good, sir. Mm-hmm. They're reforming the Dawn Guard. Back. How do you <laughs> feel? I think you might be sick. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something. Maybe a hardy Nord like you doesn't need a cure-all, huh? Need something? I enjoy this. What can I get you? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Honest gold for honest work. I'll show you to your room, right this way. A few symptoms for my supper is all I ask. Don't take this the wrong way. But you look a little sick. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Every Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Do come back. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. You look rap... Pardon me, 
So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Come back any time if you need a remedy. You don't look so good. Are you feeling all right?
Divine smile on you, friend.
Cause trouble in White Run, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. I serve Jarl Balgra as steward. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Enjoy your... Is it to Dragon's Reach?
Honor to you, my Thane. Town, right? If you need a place to sleep, head over to the Winking Skeever. I keep a fine inn. Work in it, I own it. Well, okay. My father owns the Winking Skeever, but it's the family business, so it'll be mine when he kicks off. I showed up to watch, yeah. I don't know if they were right to execute him for what he did, but I'll tell you something. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Listen, Rogvir and I grew up together. It was us, a few others, and Vivian. Vivian Onus. I have no idea why, but one day I told Rogvir I liked her. It was a stupid thing to do. He mocked me incessantly after that. From that point forward, every time Vivian and I were anywhere close to each other, he made sure to humiliate me. He beat me up, dumped mead on my head, anything he could get away with. Once he even slipped a beehive into my bed. We were children, sure, but Rogvir never outgrew that immaturity or his cruelty. So any talk about him being an honorable Nord? Ugh, pure folly. Jarl Elisif the Fair. Poor woman. 
Losing her husband and king like that is a dark day for us all. Damn! That reminds me. I have a delivery to make to her steward, Falk Firebeard. He ordered a special bottle of Strauss Mackay rum. Save me a lot of trouble. Here, take it to the Blue Palace. I was done talking anyway. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Fresh fish! Fresh fish! Help me? You help people, right? That's what you do! My master has abandoned me. Abandoned his people. And nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Yarl. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend, said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. All right, then. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Watch the skies, traveler. Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a breton. Please, don't interrupt the court. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under Your my Your Eminence, rule. my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. But about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Do you have business with the court? Oh, right, the rum. Thank you. I developed a taste for it after a fair weather trip to Hammerfell. Here, this is for you. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for 
necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years, and for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Don't take this the wrong way. Oh, hello. Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. Well, I suppose in that case it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Don't mess anything up while you're here. Kelly, my dear. Oh, I couldn't. It goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance? Sing? Smile? <laughs> Grow old? You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harumph! Well then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. to host an old friend for a decade or two. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do? Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Were ya now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the Toymaker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter! Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, 
tiny, puny, expendable little mortal. Actually think you can convince me to leave. Because that's crazy! You don't realize who you're dealing with here. Pardon me. What are you saying, something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably bored. I mean, really. Here you stand before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Madness, and all you deem fit to do is deliver a message. How sad. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Is it? Care to take a look around? This is not... I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wub Attack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade. Stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time.
Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, Pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile set. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. You won't even live to regret this. Here we go. Here we go. Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself. And ah! Got something to say? to get you so terribly entertaining, <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, although I suppose in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? Forget that. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy, but they do the same. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabajack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha ha! Ta-ta!